385-6193. That's 385-6193. Lassie's Body Shop. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a look latest in local news. In the news, the GBI is in time as they've taken over an investigation into an in-custody death that occurred Sunday at the Wayne County Jail. It occurred around 11 a.m. Sunday morning. The incident involves 34-year-old Anna Jo Waters of Scriven, Georgia. Waters was in custody at the jail at the time of her death. Sheriff John Carter says the incident is under investigation at this time. Not many details are being released at this time. Once again, 34-year-old Anna Jo Waters found dead inside the Wayne County Jail on Sunday. GBI is in town and in charge of the investigation. Sad day for the congregation at the New Life Pentecostal Church as the church was completely damaged by a fire that broke out around 3 p.m. Sunday afternoon. The congregation wasn't gone long as they had a back-to-school event early in the afternoon. Pastor Justin Drotty says that he went back to the church to retrieve something that he had forgotten to get, and when he opened the door, saw the smoke and the fire and called 911. Firefighters fought the blaze for several hours, again, the building a complete loss. Pastor Drotty says many churches have reached out to him and want to help out. They hope to have a plan where to meet before this Wednesday night service. Church located on Highway 341 adjacent to Billy Popple's car lot. Again, the church complete loss to the fire on Sunday. Wayne County Chamber of Commerce inviting the community to attend a ribbon cutting grand opening today for the Baymont Inn and Suites. The event will be held at 3 p.m. this afternoon at the 1100 Express Lane here in Jessup. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, other commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle with the best price, and Neesmith will give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. All we ask at Neesmith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price, guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at NeesmithNow.com. That's NeesmithNow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. Summer's here. Are you ready? At First Franklin Financial, we can help make this your best summer ever. Spruce up that old car, make your home shine, or take that family vacation you've always dreamed about. Whatever you've dreamed about, we can help make it happen with loans for any need, large or small. Just stop by and see the friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street. We're located in the plaza next to Walmart. Or give us a call at 912-427-4237. 427-4237. That's 427-4237. Apply online at www.1ffc.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. First District Congressman Buddy Carter in town Thursday held a town hall meeting at Coastal Pines College and spoke at the weekly Rotary Club meeting. Carter addressed the threat of ISIS and talked about the war against Islamic terrorism. Well, I, I, I simply think this president has failed the country when it comes to addressing the, the war with Islamic terrorism and, and radical Islamic terrorism. And he has offered no leadership whatsoever. Our, our respect across the, the world has diminished under his leadership, and, and I think it's one of his greatest failings as, as president. We have simply got to, to admit that it is a war, and we've got to win this war, and we've got to fight to win this war. Buddy, always good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And again, those are comments of Congressman Buddy Carter this Thursday, August 11th, the Wayne County Emergency Management Agency, along with the Wayne County Sheriff's Department, Jessup Police Department, Jessup Fire Department, Wayne County EMS will be conducting an active shooter drill at Wayne Memorial Hospital. The activities will begin around 9 a.m. on Thursday. Exercise will not affect the op- hospital's regular business operations. The drill will consist of several public safety personnel and vehicles in the area during the drill. And that's this Thursday at 9 a.m. at Wayne Memorial Hospital. Wayne County... 
received the flip of money from the state of Georgia. It arrived at the tax office this past week. A story we've been covering for quite some time finally has the happy ending as Wayne County receives two million three hundred nine thousand five hundred seventy six dollars and sixty four cents. The breakdown has the county government receiving eight hundred fifty six thousand five hundred thirty two dollars and fifteen cents, while the Board of Education receives a check for one million four hundred fifty three thousand. $44.49. WIFOVM talked with Tax Commissioner Denise Griffiths, who has more on that and about working to collect the delinquent taxes here in Wayne County. Okay, I did receive the checks from the state of Georgia. I have let Jay Brentson know the money's on the way, but he probably won't get it till next Monday. The total we received was $2,309,576. Of that, the county gets $856,000 and the school board gets $1,453,000. Okay, so it's good news. It's finally arrived, so we can put that behind us. Yes, this has been going on since before I got here, so I am really glad to get it behind us. I understand you've been working on delinquent taxes as well. It's not a lot of notices. Tell us about that. Yes, um, on July 15th, everybody who had a past due balance from 2015 back did receive a delinquent tax notice in the mail. So traffic has really picked up. A lot of people are coming in to try to pay up to you know, keep from having a lien filed against their property. And some are actually making monthly payments to try to get it behind them if they can't afford to pay it all now. So we've been really busy. I have a lot of phone calls I need to return. and. I'm doing most of that after 5 o'clock, so bear with me if you've left me a message. I will eventually call you back. If anybody has any questions about the notice they get, who do they call? Do they just call the office here? Yes, they can call the office. That number is 427-5910. Okay, well, I'm glad the flip of money finally arrived. It must have been crawling to Jessup, but it finally got here. <laughs> yes, it did. We're all glad to get it. And again, FLIPA stands for the Forest Land Protection Act. This has been an ongoing battle with attorneys and state representatives getting involved. Finally, a settlement and check to the county. And again, the county happy, happy to have the issue finally resolved and behind them. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. And Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle with the best price, and Neesmith will give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. All we ask at Neesmith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price, guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at NeesmithNow.com. That's NeesmithNow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. You know Harris Ace Hardware has everything you need for your building and home repair projects. But did you know Harris Ace Hardware carries a wide assortment of air filters for your home or office? They can even special order. Harris Ace is your hometown Yeti dealer. Plus, they carry Coastal Damar and Calcutta sunglasses. And check with Harris Ace for all your painting needs. Harris Ace will not be beat on price and will match any competitor's price. The helpful place, Harris Ace Hardware in Jessup, Bologna, and Hinesville. You can get more. $500 more for tuition and books if you qualify for the HOPE Grant. Drop by Coastal Pines Technical College and let them give you the details. Thinking about a career in computer networking, truck driving, early childhood, education, or nursing? Now's the time to get started down the path that leads to the career of your dreams. Enroll at Coastal Pines and you may be eligible for an additional $500 per semester of financial assistance. Fall semester classes begin August 22nd. Get more at Coastal Pines Technical College, an equal opportunity institution. Final notes and news. A reminder, August 10th is the last day for public comment to the EPD regarding the Republic proposal to build a rail yard in order to haul coal ash into the landfill. This past Thursday, the EPD held a public hearing in Brunswick to solicit comments. Jeff Kahn, branch chief of the EPD, conducted a public meeting, had these comments afterwards. we got to go back and we transcribe these comments and we you know, put them, look at them and begin uh, answering those comments, responding to those comments, seeing if there's things that we need to work on. Any changes the EPD can do before? I, I can't. I don't know that tonight. We, like I said, we have, we're still gathering comments. We're gathering comments till next week, and we'll work on that. You've heard all these comments from all these people. You hear the concerns. Is it falling on ears that are listening? Or, uh, yes, sir. This is the, the fourth meeting I've held with these people. So yes, sir, it has been heard. Yes, and as I mentioned, that's what they're asking for: more public opinion. So if people still want to make comments, they can. It's, August it's, 10th. It's, it's, yes, sir. Absolutely. And where do they submit those to? To me. And uh, the address and uh, my email is Jeff. Decision's going to be made in October, is that correct? 
Yes, we're moving plan. forward to, to making a recommendation to the DNR board in October. Yes, sir. Okay, Chet, thanks. Thank you. Once again, it was a packed house Thursday in Brunswick. Many thanked the EPD for hosting the event in Glen County. They did urge the EPD for more time, saying a calendar is not important when it comes to personal safety. But again, the EPD says no more hearings will be conducted. But again, they are taking public comment up until August the 10th. Again, you can submit your comments to EPD Branch Chief Jeff Kahn. The address is Atlanta Trade Port Suite 104, 4244 International Parkway, Atlanta, Georgia 30354. Wayne County Board of Education has a work session set for tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center on the agenda under items of business, student support services, information on the GCIC audit, information on Facilitron presentation, approval of facility rental fee schedule, facility fee schedule to be discussed, information on the athletic department, 2015-2016 athletic financial report, also the 2016-2017 athletic budget, executive session, approval of personnel, all that tomorrow at 6 p.m. And finally, don't forget this weekend's 11th annual Grand Slam fishing event set for the weekend of August 20th and 21st. The tournament will begin at Saturday at 12 noon, continue until Sunday at 2 p.m. The weigh-in and tournament headquarters will once again be at J.C. Fairgrounds at J.C. Landing. Those fishing the event can put in anywhere on the Altamar River and fish anywhere they have legal permission to do so, but they must be in line at the weigh-in at J.C. Fairgrounds at 2 p.m. Sunday. To win the Grand Slam first place prize of $2,000, boat must have the heaviest weigh-in of one of each of the three species out of these five, catfish, panfish, mudfish, gar, or largemouth bass. Second place in weight in a Grand Slam event will bring the winners $1,000. Third place will be $500. Additionally, there will be a $250 payout for the largest fish in each category. $100 goes to the largest fish caught by a female and by a child. The event also will feature a bonus category, $500 to the team that weighs in the heaviest five mullet. Entry fee for the event is $75 per fisherman, a minimum of at least two fishing in a boat. Registration forms can be picked up at the Tourism Board's office at the depot or at Scriven or Odom City Hall. If you need more information, you can check out the event website at waynetourism.com or call the Tourism Board office at 427-3233. Registration form is also available at the local bait and tackle stores. Again, the 11th Annual Grand Slam Fishing Tournament is for this weekend, August 20th and 21st. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Does your car or truck need a paint job, body repair, or even a tow? Call the experts at Lassie's Body Shop, family owned and operated since 1978, where the courteous, knowledgeable, and professional staff will meet all your needs at Lassie's Body Shop, wherever.